Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to another video of Dyson Sphere Program. I'll put that in there. Let's... Okay. Let's tidy this up a bit. I'm carrying solar sails. I got 136 solar sails on me. That's no good. I don't be carrying those around. Uh, I got a bit more sulfuric acid right there. Let's ditch that. Uh, let's go to you and ditch the rest of it. That's all the liquids. They're all gone. I've got these. It's actually just the stone then. I got plasma exciters already. Yeah, plasma exciters. I need it's the plasma exciters that I need in order to build the oil refineries. I've got like 80 of them. I want to build another 20 oil refineries, so I need 120 of them actually. So I do need to get a few more. Uh, a few more of these have actually got enough on me. It's a stone I'm mostly after to make these. So let's head over this way. I've got the storage right there. I'll take two stacks of them. I want to get rid of the solar sails that I'm currently holding. So they can go over this way to some of these big old guns that we've got right here. 136. I can't put them in there. Let me load the guns. Why won't you let me load the guns? I can't put them here. It doesn't let me drop them onto the outfeeds either. Well, that's no good. How am I supposed to get rid of these? Uh... There's no way I'm deleting them. The materials are too valuable. Right, plan B. We will drop down a storage facility for solar sails right there. I will take a belt that comes from said storage facility and it goes up to there. That one will run into there like that. There we go. And then I will have an outfeed... I'm just going to put a little slow one. Just going to put one of those down. And then I'm going to drop those solar sails into there. Right. Just going to start putting those in. Okay. Problem solved. And then we're going to head over this way. It was stone that I was looking for. That storage right there. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. That should allow me to go and build a whole load more oil refineries. Seriously? Eight? What's wrong with you? Oh, <laughs> that's because I've not got any steel. Right, where's my... Oh, there's iron ore. I say, where's my steel gone? Should have plenty. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six of those. That'll keep me going for a minute or two. And we want to go in oil refinery. Right, I said I wanted 20. And 20 I shall make. One, two, three, and four four like that so i do need to make you know i'm going to cancel that one i'm going to cancel that one and i'm going to make my own i'm not going to make my own plasma exciters i'm going to go and get them out of the storage that i got down there like that i'm just going to grab another 50 of them and then i'm going to go back into here and i'm going to go one two like that there we go that's much more like it so I've now got 20 oil refineries being made. So we've got to go and build even more belt and stuff out over here. Now what I'm hoping is that I can actually just extend this out in a straight line out over here uh, without too much difficulty. Because we got the really fast belts that we're using. I'm hoping that I don't need to do anything else with it. I literally just use the fast belts, whiz them all the way out and problem solved. Uh, it should be able to move the materials all the way from one end of this great big long facility that I'm now making right way back to the other end. Drop that in like that, filling in the rest of this ocean. There's a lot of ocean here. My biggest problem is I'm going to run out of landfill. Not landfill, sorry. Um, soil pile, we, we, the, the excess soil pile that we've got. That back this way like that let's go up there i don't actually need to be putting this bit in at all but i'm doing it anyway okay so we have we didn't run out of anything we were absolutely fine 
I do have this line of stone coming in through here. Uh, fortunately, that is up in the air. So all I need to do is go and take my production. 20 of these bad boys and I can drop them down there. I'm actually just going to shift click that one and I'm going to bring it out there like that. So I'm going to go one, two, three, uh, four. No, 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 no. Don't put that one there. Five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and ten over to there. And then we'll come back over this side and we will do exactly the same again. Lined up with those right there. We'll leave a little bit of a gap so that we can run the belt in underneath. And then the belt is going to be looped all the way out around the outside of this one. So I will run that back through here like this. And there is the last one there. Right, look at that line of those. This is insane. This is absolutely ludicrous. And I want to have a belt. Now, have I got enough belt to be able to make all of this? I'm going to stand right there in the middle. I'm going to run that one up to there. And then I'm going to run another one up to there and then I'm gonna just swivel around over this side and I'm gonna do a belt from here out to why did that join in up there from there up to we'll go out the end like that and that's gonna run back down to there like that so there's all of the belts I gotta have in feeds and I got out feeds. So we gotta have two in feeds and one out feed on each, which means I'm gonna need uh, 30. I've got plenty of sorters for this then. So I just want to go in here like this. Now, these in here, it's 15 per minute, yeah. I can do this with the standard slow sorters if I wanted to. But I'm not going to. I'm going to do this with fast ones all the way through. Just because I think it's going to ultimately be a little bit better. In case I can speed anything up. Same reasons that I've mentioned before. If I do ever actually need to speed it up. If I've already got everything in place to be able to do that. Then I don't need to worry about uh, having to go through and upgrade anything later on. It just makes life a little bit easier, doesn't it? Back up through this side, putting all of these in. And then once I've done all of this side, I then go up through the middle and we will do the outfeed bit. And this is the bit that takes a little tiny bit longer. And again, those in there. I just got to make sure I've got this on the right side. So hydrogen is on that one up there. So we come out here and that's got to be hydrogen coming onto that belt, which means that... Yeah, I've, I've got to do this in a set way. It's got to be a set pattern. So that's got to be the oil coming out there. And then I go from here, and that's got to be the oil coming out onto that side. And then I go in here, and that's got to be the hydrogen coming out onto that side. And I've got to repeat that. This is the bit that's a bit more time-consuming to go and fit. And uh, hydrogen out of there. Oil out of that one oil and out of that one hydrogen right make sure they are looking correct so I should have now you can see I've done this in the same pattern all the way down through I'm going to just go and put down the power supply so that I can make sure that everything is all kind of lined up the way that I would want it so I just need to add a few more of these in don't need loads. Just a few. And we will go down through here now and we will put in some power poles. Now, power poles is quite often the bit that I don't actually worry too much about getting perfectly even. Just as long as I've got them stuffed in here somewhere, it's sort of fairly all right. Before I go and connect up the belts, I am going to go through and I'm going to check the patterns all the way down through. It's quite easy to see if you've got the patterns in there. 
I need to zoom in a little bit so that I can see them properly. Uh, so we'll do that. And then we'll go in here into the middle. And we'll look down. And we'll go along here on the top side first. And you can see hydrogen oil hydrogen oil and it needs to be in that pattern all the way down through there that one's different it doesn't actually matter because they are still on the right side of like it's still going to the right side of the belt but i still don't want to do that so I'll put that one back in again. So this one over here, I'm going to put that one as oil. And then this one coming out of here, I'm going to put that one as hydrogen like that. So again, we've got hydrogen oil and hydrogen oil. And then if I go up through the middle on here, I'm now going to double check that I've got those two next to each other. And these are the two short ones. I know that I've already got the other bits in place. So, so long as i got two short ones here and i got two right there next to each other as well. Uh, I know that everything is going to be in place. So I'm just looking at the patterns again. And it's nice and easy to double check that everything is in place. Double and one each. Double, one each. Double, one each. Double, one each. And there we come out to the end. And that's it. So everything is in place on there. And that is why I am quite particular about... Yes... When you look at the base, I don't care about this massive sprawl of um, belt spaghetti going everywhere. I really don't. I love belt spaghetti. I think it looks amazing when you look at it working. I mean, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. That is spaghetti at its finest. I love looking at the spaghetti. But when I'm actually putting together a little build like this, the same with Factorio. And I'm bringing the lessons I've learned from Factorio over into this game patterns do it all in patterns because it's so much easier to double check that everything is exactly the way it should be like if you've got patterns everywhere you can definitely check on every single little aspect of the entire thing the only problem i've got that i've no doubt that some of you already picked up on is the fact that these two belts are actually <laughs> facing the wrong way which is a little bit embarrassing to say the least. But what I can do, I believe, is I can just put them down over the top. No, I can't. Uh, right, well, that's a little bit of a pain. So we're just going to have to go to destruct mode and destroy and destroy it like that. Uh, fortunately, I don't have to go and place down all of them again. I can just go and put the belt back down again. And this time, instead of starting from up... The, yeah, I do want to start from up there. This time, I want to start from this direction. And I want to run all the way back down to here. So I'll put one lot in there like that. I don't know how I managed to get those the wrong way around. And put those in there. Right, now they're facing in the correct direction. They're heading back there. I did... You know, I'm second-guessing myself now. I'm wondering if I was just looking at them and it looked like they were going the wrong way. And maybe I actually got that wrong then. It doesn't matter. It's it, it's done now. It's, it's all in place. Everything's going where it should be. So I then want to connect that one over here like this. And I'm going to connect that one over there like that as well. And then I'm going to go with an upgrade option here. I'm going to upgrade. There we go. Right, I've upgraded that belt. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Right, that's all upgraded in there. There was a little bit of belt there right on the end that was on slow speed for some reason. I'll put that over there so that it then allows the oil to come back through. And we can engage. There we go. Fire that one up. It's going to start taking oil off on that side of the belt all the way up through. And then the oil should start coming around. There it is. Just starting to come back through. It's There is enough oil coming in on this belt by the look of it to actually fill the whole thing up. Like It's coming back here and I've got a considerable quantity on that belt all the way back up here to keep that actually running full. And that's kind of what I was wanting. That's the bit that I was hoping for. And then if we go back over here and we go and take a look, the oil is already building back. That is absolutely brilliant. The hydrogen and the light oil is not building back. 
I've now got every single one of our oil refineries that actually look at that corridor of grandeur down through there. The oil is built right back over here, all the crude oil. The hydrogen and the light oil now, that is just fantastic. Look at that view, especially here with that planet there. The speed that that one, I'm still impressed with the speed that that one spins around. That is quite that is quite amazing. Look at that. That is gorgeous. The added advantage of all of this, of course, is that we now have a little bit more light oil coming into the system. So there's some going out that way. I'm deliberately keeping that running a little bit slower than some of the rest of it. And that also means that I've got now plenty of light oil coming out that way and going in and feeding our plastic production line. The light oil is actually building back. We're not using it this fast. We're just building back on the belt temporarily and it will go all the way back up to there and then keep this other conveyor belt stuffed full as well. And I actually think that it wouldn't hurt for us to upgrade that belt and upgrade that belt again and I've already upgraded that belt to maximum. So we'll upgrade all of the belts in there. And keep everything running absolutely flat out. Because this just in here for the plastic. Actually, we seem to be using that at the same rate as coming in now. Now that I've gone and changed this belt over here. That's fine. We should... Uh, the idea is that everything backs up. Like I, I like it all to just completely fill up everything that it's doing on all of the belts. And then back up afterwards. That's, that's what we're aiming for here. The, the, the final result is that I do want everything to be completely backed up. I've got the oil here is now actually backed up on this one. So these are in here. They're making as rapidly as they can. And then the oil's backing up here. And it's backing up to that point. Which now means that some of that light oil is heading over into these. And being split down into more energetic graphite and a little tiny bit more hydrogen. I'm going to need to be using up that excess hydrogen that we're making. And if we go and have a look over here, how's this production? We've got 50,000 hydrogen there already, just about. Uh, 1,600 deuterium in that tank over there, which we will eventually be using. This is looking so cool now. Right, the next thing that I want to do then is start making the greens. So we got to start working through all of the ingredients to be able to make these green bad boys, which means that I need to be able to make these first. So I need the strange matter to be able to make strange matter. I need deuterium, I need iron, and I need particle collider, uh, co containers, not colliders, I need particle containers. Deuterium is relatively simple to go and make. This one can be produced by hand. Oh, wait, can it? Made in a... No, it needs to be made in a particle collider. Right, it cannot be made... Cannot be made in a replicator. So i got to make that. That's got to be one of the first ones that we make so that we can go and make these lenses. Uh, they just need some diamonds to go with them. We've got loads of diamonds. That's, that's not any kind of a problem whatsoever. And then I need these. These are a bit more complicated. Like that, I'm already making a load of those. So we should be able to get some of those and bring them round. Um... That's actually relatively straightforward. We just need to get the glass supply, a bit of water and some titanium, and we got the titanium glass. That's not a problem. It's this here, these three ingredients here. These are slightly more time-consuming. That's, that's more hydrogen. All right. I can do that. I can absolutely do that. Let's go and get the glass sorted out first. Where am I taking the glass, actually? Let's have a look. Well, there's been an update to the game. If we zoom out, we get to our star map. And then you zoom out further. You go through the stars that we've got. And then zoom out further. And we go to the Civilization Type 3. We go all the way out here. There's that Frithgar dude right there in the middle. And you can see all of these other ones out here. So I don't know if I can click on these and take a look at them. There, highest power, 3.57 terawatts one engineer over there so you can't i don't think you can go and look at what they're doing but you I mean you can click on them and you can 38.6 megawatts sliff over there 4.34 terawatts 
6.18 terawatts, two engineers. So, yeah, you, you've got, like, various different um, bits there for the Type 3 civilization that is, like, the, the, the next kind of uh, update bit. But at the moment, my map still seems to be working. So I'm hoping that we can carry on and do some more of this. We want to, like, the, the point of the series... I'm gonna. I'm not gonna play this game to death at the moment because there's obviously gonna be a lot of big updates and so on. Um, so I'm gonna try and get through to mission completed. I'm not gonna worry about like going for massive scale or anything like that. We'll get to the mission completed and then I think we'll take a step back and let the game run its various updates because there's a combat update I believe gonna be happening at some point. And then there's a few other things as well, so we'll kind of let that all run its course, and then after those have gone through, then we can uh, maybe come back and, and do some more. So I want water, I want titanium ingots, and I want glass. Titanium ingots, that's graphene going through there. Where have I got titanium ingots traveling? That's titanium ingots over there. So if I was to split those off, I've also got water coming out of these pumps right here. So I'm going to make a couple of water pumps. We want buildings. We're going to want oil refinery or like a water pump right there. I'm going to make... Uh, well, I can make five. So I'll make two. I'll make two of those bad boys right there and then we're going to want uh, Casimir crystals Yo, I'm not doing those at the moment we're, go we're doing the titanium glass first uh, the titanium let's, let's split the titanium so I, I, I can split this titanium here except that's the bit that's going over the water I can't do it while it's going over the water I can split it here I've got titanium is that, tit that titanium is... That's supply, right? That's coming in. So I could actually... I think I can have a belt coming out the back of this one. Let's just have a look a second. If I was to take a belt coming out of the end of there and do that... Oh, of course, there's, there is another update here with... Moving the... Being able to move the belts around... That one down there. See, you can move it round at any angle now. Press tab and it does it to that. You press shift, it moves around at any angle at all. Which is actually pretty cool, I like that. But I'm going to keep mine going on the, 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 the straight bits at the moment. So let's just drop you down here. I'm just going to put the titanium to that point a second, and then I'm going to go to gathering and oil water pump, and I'm going to put this one in here. So if I rotate that one round, that one's going to drop down there. I'm going to put one water pump there, and I'm going to put another water pump right next to it, just there. We'll take some power. We'll have one of these. That one can go right there. And then I can have logistics... I bring a belt out that way, and that one's going to go, well, right there. It's kind of like trying to change direction. It's not trying to. It is changing direction a little bit. We'll put that one up to there, and then that one can go up that way. I can have a conveyor belt going into there like that, and then this one will go up to that point, and that will come along here as well. Let me just check for the titanium glass. It is two of each that I need. So then we want to put a line of assembly machines along the bottom. I also want to consume this refined oil and oil I've got in here. How much space have I got? Yeah, see, I haven't got any space in here to burn stuff up. So what I can do is if I chuck that on the ground, chuck that, chuck that, I don't want any of that. Delete all littered cargoes at anywhere with one click. There we go. We got rid of that lot. Go back. Uh, I've got 16 assembly machines at the moment. Yes, it would be beneficial, I think, to have things set up so that like all of the machines are being manufactured. But 
as like another thing with this game is a bit like Factorio. In order to do that, we need so many resources being gathered, and I don't actually want to go and set up all of it. It's setting up the resource gathering, but also setting these up does take a little bit of time. But there was an update that they've now done. Uh, I think it's part of this update. I should shift click the sorters going in. When I shift click and copy the pattern on here, it should also do the sorters at the same time. So we're going to test that. We're going to make titanium glass right there. And then I'm going to take the sorters and I have got in here in logistics. I've only got five of the upgraded ones. So we're going to go into the buildings. We're going to go to sorter mark two right there. And I'm going to go to make a few of these. The problem we've got is still that I'm not making enough of those. I'm not getting enough of them coming in. So I need to go on here and I need to just pick a few of these up. Well, there's 50 of them. I'm not going to worry about any more for a minute. That's just going to help us out a little bit. So then if I look into here, I've now got another 14 of those that I can go and make. Why is that? I've got plenty of these. I've... Ah, uh, it's because I'm not carrying any iron. Right, let's go scoot over this way and grab a bit of iron. It's not in there. It's in there. Solar sail life plus 900 seconds of solar sail life. That's good. That means they will last longer. Let's go and grab a few stacks of iron in there like that. That'll keep us going a little bit longer. And then I can have a look in here and I have a look on those. And now I can make 198 of them. That's a little bit more like it. So I'll make a couple stacks there. And it's used up some of the motors that I've got. It's not used up all of them, but it's used up some of them. We will fly back over this way and we will set the sorters on this bit right here. I'm just going to extend that belt. Actually, we'll extend the belt out a nice long way. I'm going to want to get rid of these power poles here. But I'll get rid of so much as just move, but uh, we'll we'll get rid of here a second. And then I'll go back in here and I'll put the power poles close to this side. Like this. And then we'll also be able to utilize them for other things. So we'll put one there and we will put one over here. So, yeah, I do have a shortage of the motors coming in, and that will be corrected fairly soon, but it's not going to be corrected just yet. So, I've got that bit up, and then I can go and take this, and we'll run a, a belt kind of along there like that, and then another bit, and then finally a third bit over to there like that. So, there's a few belts put in place and then I'm also going to want to run another belt that is going to go from this side and head down that way. I'm going to keep it all running in the same direction as well and now that I've got those in place I can then take the sorter mark 2 and I can put the output that side and then over here I can put an input an input and an input there so I don't know if this bit does actually work in here if I shift click that it does it moves the sorters as well oh that is so much better that is so much better it intelligently moves you can remove sorter previews as well if you want to it intelligently Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. 
And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.